we're gonna start with these two wooden pieces. Uh, this one is pulled out from wooden pellet and this cylindrical is with hole in the center. Beside the wooden pieces you will need battery holder for holding the lithium battery 18650. You will need push switch that can handle with high current, regular switch and LED, blue LED. Also you will need the main part and that's it, this 1000 kV step up high voltage pulse generator ignition coil that I got from eBay and it says that it's working from 3.7 volts up to 7.4 volts and can pull out from half amp to 1 amp and can deliver output voltage from 800 kilovolts up to 1000 kilovolts. Please pay attention to safety when using. Hmm. I forgot to tell you that this ignition coil costs around $3. On this wooden piece we're gonna make some cuts for fitting the ignition coil. From this side we're gonna make hole for battery holder. Now the electric wiring. From the battery, electricity will go to the first switch. From here, we'll power up the LED. Then, through the push switch, we're gonna power up the ignition coil.
Wow. For about two dollars you can buy high frequency inverter electric igniter coil from eBay and it have couple of components you can solder it and make in five minutes. In item description you can find the schematic for building this circuit. I solder all the parts and here we're gonna connect the battery and on this wire we're gonna get the spark. I power up the circuit with 3.7 volts lithium battery and let's test it. It's working. The electric lighter we are gonna use for making cannon gun. We are gonna glue the handle, glue the electric lighter and see what will happen. To explain how this works, from electric igniter that gives spark inside there, this electric lighter is powered by 3.7 volts lithium battery and when we put fuel inside and press the switch, kaboom! Whoa! From aluminium foil, we're gonna make cannon bow. For making the rain sensor you will need electronic parts like this transistor, Darlington N-Pen transistor BC517, ordinary LED and resistor 10 kilo ohms, a buzzer,
battery holder and batteries. First, we're gonna connect the positive wire from buzzer and the resistor to positive wire of battery holder. The transistor pinout is collector base emitter. On emitter we're gonna solder the negative wire from battery holder. On collector we're gonna solder the negative wire from the buzzer. Before we proceed to next step, check the circuit that is working. By touching the resistor and transistor base, the electric circuit is finished. Now we're gonna make the sensor and you're gonna need solid copper wire, plastic transparent piece, As you can see, the contact sensor for rain is finished and it's made from two copper wires who don't touch each other. Now, on the resistor and on base of transistor, we're gonna solder the wires to the sensor. The rain sensor is finished and now we're gonna test it. For making this simple and basic earthquake alarm sensor, you will need two AAA batteries that give 3 volts, a push switch, transistor BC517, one 100 kilo ohm resistor, metal bolt, piezo and glass jar and one LED. First we're gonna connect LED with the piezo, positive with positive, negative with negative terminal. Just to remind you, this is the transistor BC517 and this is the collector, base, emitter. Collector we're gonna solder to the negative terminal of piezo and LED. On transistor base, we're gonna solder the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Also, the push switch and the capacitor we're gonna connect in parallel connection. The negative terminal for capacitor we're gonna solder to the emitter and other on the resistor.
the sensor wires we're gonna solder on positive wires from piezo and LED and other on 100 ohms resistor. Now the wires from the battery, we're gonna solder the positive here and the negative here. On the lid, I have glued everything, the sensor, the batteries and the circuit. And here it is the reset switch. And now we're gonna test it. The motion sensor is very simple. If he detects any motion, sound alarm will activate. 